Uh, Mr. Kim, I'm going to shift over to you, sir. Uh, you have the longest connection to Korea and the Rock U.S. Alliance. Could you talk about your experiences as a Katusa? Thank you, Troy. Actually, I'm very, you know, happy to work with you as a board member of KDBA. And uh, frankly speaking, you know, well, I can say that my whole life uh, cannot be explained without my Kutusa period. I could not have achieved what I have done, you know, so far without Kutusa experience. I learned actually English and computer skills back in the late 1970s at Division Data Center, a second infantry division, U.S. Army. And I met many of Katusa and American friends during my service period and the various new experience with the friends during this period, actually. This experience was, uh, actually, is, and, the, and the memories uh, have motivated me to be uh, you know, successful as one of the, my uh, business leaders and who have a you know, global perspective. And then that is also one of the reason I could, I could successfully, you know, they were forming my CEO position of Sales for Korea. This is under the, my age, my age is, is already 65, but still I'm, I'm, I'm holding the CEO position of Sales for Korea. That was because of, uh, you know, a big impact on, on my, you know, my the, uh, military, you know, the, 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 the experience at the second infantry division. The point actually let me go around the world and expand the field of my life and uh, my business and enlarge my social network too. I still think that the Kutusa period made the most of my life and I've been living with thankful mind for that actually. So I have lived with, uh, <clears throat> so that I have an obligation to give something back to my society as one of the both the social leaders and the former Kutusa soldiers. During my Kutusa period, and I was educated about Rock US Alliance and this concept that I learned that time remain, remains in my mind already. And since that time, I thought it would be great if there would be an opportunity for me to contribute to the Alliance somehow. And I'm very much proud of being served as Kutusa, especially as second infantry division and became a member of the famous 2ID association. <laughs> Thanks again, Troy. And then, uh, you know, the inv inviting me as panelists on this important webinar. I I'll never forget the period, Katusa service period, and this is a great, great chance for me to you know, pay back to my, you know, the, the, the contribution back to the uh, Iraq US alliances. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Kim. Um, Mr. Kim, uh, with the help of Joe Terry, we created a thing called um, uh, the General Peck Sun Yup Award there for the Katusas uh, back when, when he and I were both stationed there. Is mm -hmm. that program still alive and going well? And what did you think of that program uh, that, for the Katusa Uh That is a great program because at the moment there's still, you know, that is going on. And also we add another one, you know, you know, Step Southern Kim Sang Won Award, which is we call it in Hall of Fame of Eight Army, uh, which is our prime minister. I mean, and former prime minister now actually the, the leader of the ruling parties, Mr. Lee Nam Yeon. He was also former Katusa. And he's, he was actually inducted in the uh, in Hall of Fame, which is, uh, you know, Step Surgeon, you know, Shin Kim Sang. Kim, Step Surgeon Kim Sang was, uh, you know, uh, the Korean War veterans who has, you know, the, the Silver Star, you know, the, the medal from the uh, U.S. Army. Mm. And, uh, you know, for, we have we tried to add some more, you know, the uh, program, you know, to, to uh, you know, award, you know, the, 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 to, to enhance the Kutusa program in the future. Then. 